Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tony. For the last week or so, I've been pondering fried green beans. I just think they're delicious and I want to make them myself. So I'm going to use my own ideals and see what we come up with. So why don't we get in the kitchen and see what I can create. Okay, first I wash my green beans, snap the ends off real quickly. I'm going to leave my green bean hole for my fried green beans. That way I got something bigger and longer to hold on to instead of snapping it in little bits and pieces. Okay, before I start the next phase, what I want, I'm going to do is take my green beans that I've washed and I've snipped and I'm going to dry them on a, on a towel real quickly. It doesn't have to be 100% on this recipe because I'm just going to soak them in buttermilk. But I'm going to also trim variations I'm curious about in my mind with this. One with flour and then one with panko crumbs and Parmesan cheese because I love that. I love panko crumbs and I want to see how that turns out. I'm going to take my buttermilk. Just coat this in buttermilk. Like so. I'm going to let this sit and soak in for about 20 minutes. Okay, for my first batch, what I'm going to try is some unbleached flour, some black pepper, salt, garlic powder, some crushed red pepper, and onion powder and we're going to blend that up all together. I'm going to use about two cups of flour I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of pepper let me measure my salt I'm going to do about a teaspoon of salt garlic powder I'm going to do about a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to do the same amount of my onion powder, about a teaspoon. So I'm going to do about a quarter to a half teaspoon of red pepper. And then we're going to work this in. And this will be for recipe number one. Now for my second test I'm going to use some Italian style panko breadcrumbs with some Parmesan cheese that I'm going to grate up. I'm going to use about two cups of panko crumbs to grate some Parmesan right on into this. Nothing like fresh Parmesan cheese to excite me. This is five ounces so I'm going to probably use at least two and a half ounces of Parmesan cheese grated up. There we go. This will sit while this sits. It's going to dry up the cheese a little bit. And then I'll, I'll stir it some more and it'll blend in even better. It smells delicious. Okay, now for my dipping sauces, I'm going to do two different types. And the first one, classic ranch dressing. I know it's good with fried green beans. I've tried it before. And the second one, I did research this online and it was from. The Chunky Cook or something like that website. I'll put the link down below with her recipe. And it calls for a half a cup of mayonnaise to a teaspoon of wasabi paste. And I'm just curious at how that is going to be. So right now i got my half a cup of mayonnaise. And I'm going to take a teaspoon of wasabi paste. And work that in together real good. Okay, I got my assembly line lined up. My oil feels hot. I'm going to start with the 
the flour version first. And we're going to cook these until they're golden brown. And I'm going to try the panko. Okay. I'm going to say, hold on, let's test one. It was sobby sobby. It's kind of got a horseradishy taste to it. Reminds me of a cocktail sauce smell. The flour ones, I don't know if you can see it, they turned out a little crispy. I think what I'm going to do is modify it some more and dip it in flour from the buttermilk, dip it in an egg wash, and then try frying it and see how that turns out. Green beans are a little crispy. I like it like that, but you may want to pre-blanch these two, and if you did, I'd blanch them for about two minutes in boiling water, then immediately cool it off after that sort of quick cooking. And my pinnacle crumb one didn't do anything. It's like the crumbs just came right off. Okay. We know what didn't work. Now we gotta make some fixes. Okay. Since my first way didn't work, I'm modifying it with an egg wash here. So we're gonna try this again. Let's see how this one works out. My oil's been filtered out and cleaned out and redone. I'm going to start with the panko. As you can see, the panko crumbs with the egg wash dredge made this nice and full and beautiful. The only problem is, it's a very slow process doing this. But now it's time for the taste test. Margaret, you go first. Let me zoom out. We have a... Uh, I'm going to try the wasabi mayo. Mm. And I'm going to also try it with ranch because this is an Italian panko breadcrumbs. I don't know how much of a fan I am of wasabi because of horseradish. I'm not much of a horseradish person. But. Mm. I think ranch helps make it go explode. So. These are actually a hit. They'd really be good and tasty. Like I said, it's a slow process. Yes, Margaret, let me know how you feel about the wasabi. You're more into horseradish than I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> All I can say for me to make a whole bunch of these, I'm going to have to really like that person. Another thing I noticed, as you can see, this guy is thick breading. Because as the egg wash gets into the panko crumbs, it likes to uh, clump up. So I actually kind of compressed this around there and it folded and molded very nicely. So I'm going to see how this one turns out. Oh, it's a little spicy. Not much. I don't know if you can see how thick that breading is. It's okay. But, but I'm not but, that crazy about mayonnaise. I love breading anyway, so. Try it with the ranch. But I love these. We're eating our vegetables. <laughs> so, this is a very tasty, delicious way right here. You, I guarantee you, you'll like them. But we'll be back with another version. I've added more seasonings this time to the flour, so. 
It should be a little more flavorful. And we're going to see how this turns out. This batch is a little more crunchy. But they look delicious. Okay, let's take a look at this here. That's a nice little crispy covered shell. It's got a nice coating to it. And it looks yummy. Okay. Okay, baby, we're going to try these out. Tell me what you think. I added more spices to them. Good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I still don't taste the spices in them. I put a lot in there. Where do they go? Nice and crunchy. These are yummy too. Like I said, I like it with the ranch over the wasabi. But I will try it one more time with the wasabi one. Just so I can say I tried them all. I like a very crunchy, bready green bean. Mm. Yeah, I still don't like the wasabi. Okay, I'm finishing up my last of my green beans with the one coat method. It actually seems to be the fastest if you're cooking for parties. And this is your end result for a lot of people. That's the one coating method. Just soaking in buttermilk and then in flour. Seasoned flour. Now, if you wanted to freeze these for later, you had to set them on, leave them on this tray and freeze them and then stick them in a bag. Ziploc baggie and seal it and it'd be good for a couple months okay for my fourth and final version of my fried green beans I'm gonna use a beer batter recipe to try this out I personally don't have a beer batter recipe so I did search the internet for one that I felt would be what I wanted to use and I will leave the link down in the description below you can actually find that description if you're on a mobile application by scrolling all the way down towards the very bottom so let me show you what we need okay so I have one and a half cups of flour here and the recipe called for a half a teaspoon of baking powder but since I'm doubling it I'm going to use one teaspoon of baking powder here and one teaspoon of salt I like to use sea salt and you'll incorporate all those dry ingredients together. And so I'll add my two tablespoons of oil and my two eggs. And we're going to work these together. And then we'll slowly incorporate this into the flour. beat all them lumps out of it. It's like a thick pancake batter. Okay, we're ready to go. My oil's just about ready. It's starting to sizzle. So I'm going to start dropping my beans in the beer batter. Okay, my beans do a slow fizzle boil, so I'm going to let it heat up just a smidgen more. This has a nice thick texture, so I think it would be awesome with onion rings too. to a golden brown color texture. Look at that green bean. Doesn't that look beautiful? I like this beer batter. It has a very good texture and thickness and it works really well. 
on your green beans. Okay, this is my first batch of beer batter green beans. And I can't wait to try it. There's another one for you to see. I like mine with a little salt on it. Margaret, feel free to try green bean. Mmm. That's yummy. That is yummy. Let's see if I like it with some ranch dressing on it. You. Mm. The Italian definitely has a different texture than the Italian style panko breadcrumbs. And I'll probably eat these as quickly as I cook them. I gotta say, I like them. Like, I like onion rings, and I love onion rings too. I can't wait to try this beer batter with some onion rings. My next batch is coming out. Oh! That's uh... I can still hear them green beans cooking on the inside. <music> this is what happens when you put one on top of the other. You don't want to really do that. And I've got a problem. I've been eating these as fast as I cook them. Because it's delicious! That nice, beautiful golden brown texture all the way around. Mm. Okay, out of a double recipe of beer batter and a bag of green beans, this is all I got left. Between my wife and me, we were eating them as fast as we could as they were coming out of the pot. These aren't as coated as the other ones because I was scraping the bottom of the beer batter, but they're still delicious. Mm. Now, you have leftovers like this and you want to freeze them. I'd let them cool first, then I would leave them separated and put them in the rack until they were frozen, and then I would put them in a bag, heat up the oven at 350 degrees until they're hot, and they should be just delicious. Better than any store-bought fried green bean you'll get. Just delicious. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Tony. If you like this, feel free to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hope to see you on my next video. Thank you and God bless.